Hey everybody, um, we decided for Darker Side of Dining that we were going to try to show you how to do a... We're calling it the leftover sushi wrap. Because um, if you have not seen some of our other vlogs, you should watch because we had some of these. Um, these are baby squid and this is eel. We're going to use those as our wraps. This is what the nori wrap looks like. This is this is the outside of the wrap. The you want the bumpy side up, and uh, you can get them. This is a raw nori, but this one is test radiation free. So I thought that would be probably the best. And then also, this is the hikama we tried in one of the uh, vlogs. And then we're gonna put carrot, celery and uh, some avocado in there and hopefully it'll turn out good and of course we have the sticky rice it's already it's already um, prepared you're supposed to put vinegar and whatnot in it all right so here's what we're gonna do and also you're gonna want to have this to keep keep your fingers wet so the nori stays nice and um, workable and then push, flatten it pretty much. I'm going to use the spoon. I don't. Okay, yeah, spoon's not welcome there, I guess. Like I said, we're going to be making two different wraps. Um, hopefully, I am doing this right. Definitely. Okay, so that's the rice portion of it. Can't have any light spots in there. Don't want that. Okay, so. I think for the first one we're going to do the eel and uh, so let's put the vegetables on first actually so we have celery I'm just gonna lay some of it in here give it a crunch the hikama just um, because it replaces a water chestnut Put them on there. They're really healthy, no calories. Carrot. We're put some avocado in there. And you could add cream cheese if you want. A lot of them have cream cheese in it. And then the eel. Okay, now the fun part is going to be trying to roll it. Okay, this is the fun part. Because you're supposed to use a bamboo mat to roll this and scratch it in case any fluid comes out of it. But I do not have that advantage. There's the first, the first sushi roll, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the fridge for a little while just to give it a minute to set, and then I'm going to do the second one. All right, and then we're gonna make the second wrap in the very same way, except for I am going to use the baby squid, and I used kind of a good amount of rice on the last one, so. Um, if you haven't tried this and um, you, if there's something that you want to put in there or you have a suggestion for 
a type of a sushi roll. Sushi roll. <laughs> Please put it in the comment section down below. And we'll definitely try it. We like trying new things here. Alright, it's time to roll it up again. See, stuff's falling out. That's why you're supposed to uh, have a mat so that it'll catch that stuff. Also, we figured since we had some left, we're going to do a mixed one. I'm not going to vlog that part, but yeah. Okay, they have sat in the refrigerator for about a half an hour. Dustin's cutting them out for me. We kind of cut them in the, um, with a plastic still on them. That way they can be put back in a wrap. Uh, um, in the refrigerator so they don't go bad. Hey guys, they're all done and uh, there's three different kinds. Which one do you guys want to try first? I just want to know, is it healthy to eat sushi in the sun like this? Yes, it, as long as we eat it. Yeah, And we have wasabi. Because you gotta have wasabi with sushi. This is the mixed yeah. one. So. Alright. It's a sushi box. Alright, here. here Elon, we go. Elon's in Nori. Squid. Mmm. Pretty damn good. You did something right. Mm. That's better than they make it. The yaki. Mm -hmm. And the crust. Mm -hmm. Holy crust. I can cook anything. There'll mm -hmm. definitely be more sushi rolls. And this was my first sushi roll, so it's a little bit of Okay, and then this one's eel, and that one's just octopus. Java. Oh, mine's got a, a little bit. They're all good. Take the one with the most wasabi. There's more. Okay. Here's the eel. this idea for the leftovers because boy that turned out good I think the, the rice needs a little more but mm. I think it is quite pretty good mm -hmm. did a great job eh? alright we're doing this last one alright well I'm taking okay, whichever I'm going to have the two biggest ones each time give me a small one alright well they're about the eagle more on my so I just put more on each one. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Alright, let me see, let me see. I can't be, <laughs> yeah. I can't be the wimp. Yeah, that's it, that's it. I'll, I'll be the wimp. Okay. What? Take one nope. I'm gonna You're take the one with the more. I'm just gonna eat it. One, two, three, Three's. shove. Oh, I hiccup. My nose is burning. I love that flavor, though. 
If you guys have not had wasabi, it is like a, uh, it's a root that they use and they mash it up. It's very, very spicy. You will, if you have, if you have a cold, eat some of this. It'll drain your sinuses yep. very well. Oh, hiccup. And it, see that's why when you, like when I eat it, I've learned over the years of eating it. That you, because usually you put it on top of the sushi roll and then you eat it. And it's on top, so it hits your sinuses quicker. Mm -hmm. If you take the sushi roll and flip it down and, and put it in and then flip mm -hmm. it on, down on your tongue, you don't really get the sinus as much. I like what it It'll still make your eyes water <coughs> if you get a good. At least see how it takes and she puts it in there, she puts the soy sauce, and she stirs it all up, and then you dip it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. All right, well, if you guys have any more suggestions for anything that we should try, please put it down in the comment section below. It is very, very sunny out. So we're going. Don't forget to share like a mofo. Bye.